Hello, this is Allison Carmen, and welcome to episode 17 of my podcast, 10 Minutes to Less Suffering. Today, I'd like to talk to you about whether being mean to other people really serves us. Sometimes we feel we need to be mean or rude to someone because they hurt us. We blame them for something bad that happened. We want to punish them. We want to teach them a lesson. We want to stick up for ourselves. And even though we might be justified or feel someone deserves it, sometimes when we act this way, it brings us further from where we need to be. Sometimes we are just reacting to something that happened to us, but we can benefit from being more responsive. We can ask ourselves before we act, before we say something, will this action serve me? Before I move forward with this idea, sometimes we are extremely clear that we need to be stern, hold our ground in a conversation, and maybe even behave in a way that some people may find aggressive or offensive. In fact, just the other day, my friend told me a story about a meeting she had during one of her last days of work at a company she worked at for 10 years. She resigned to take a job at another company. Before she left her old job, she was on the phone with about 20 people and her boss. When he made a comment about her being let go from her position on Friday, her last day of work, he also criticized her for a case that she had worked on. She had a choice in that moment how to respond. But to my friend, her choice was very clear. She wanted to protect her reputation. So she decided to push back. She said in a very strong and loud voice, I take offense to what you just said. I was not let go. I resigned from my position. Nobody has ever complained about a case I worked on, and I did a great job. You have no right to make any of these allegations on the phone with my other colleagues present. However, someone else on the call would describe her demeanor or behavior. She felt she needed to protect her reputation, and that was her choice. She might not be leaving her job on good terms with her boss, but what she said directly served her goal. But there are other times when we might react to a situation, and how we act or what we say could set us back instead of moving us forward, even if we feel right or justified with our actions. A good example can be found with a client that I worked with many years ago who was having problems with her husband. They were in the process of divorcing and still living in the same house. He was leaving the marriage because he was unhappy and his wife suspected that he was cheating on her. A few nights a week, the husband would ask to use the car to go out to see friends or run some errands and the wife would always tell her husband that she was using it. But all she would do is take the car out, go around the block and sit in the car for a few hours just so he couldn't use the car. Once in a while, she would get some coffee But whether it was 15 degrees out or 90 degrees out, she would sit uncomfortably for hours. She was suffering and trying to punish her husband by not letting him use the car. She wanted to hurt him and felt good about him not being able to meet his friends or go shopping. But in reality, how were her actions serving her? Was it serving her to sit in a freezing car or a very hot car, depending on what time of year it was? We all know how unpleasant it is to sit in a car when it's freezing cold or too hot. She could have spent that time working out, cooking healthy food, doing her resume to apply for a new job, but she decided that not letting him do something was more important. And I'm not judging it because I totally understand why she would feel this need to punish him, hurt him, blame him, and try to get him to suffer, because he made her suffer. But I think the bigger question she needed to ask herself was, do my actions serve me? And I think most of us would agree that she would have been better served to only take the car when she needed it and to focus on moving forward with her own life. Intellectually, most of us know these things, but emotionally, many of us forget it when we're overwhelmed with self-doubt, lack of self-love, bitterness, blame, or disappointment. There's nothing wrong with all these emotions and feelings, but if we sit too long in them, our thoughts and actions will lead us astray from our goals and far from where we want our lives to be. So here's a great exercise to help us figure out our emotions and our feelings before we react to a situation and allow ourselves to be more responsive, to act in a way that will serve us. I have found this exercise to be extremely helpful to me, and it entails answering six questions. The first question is, based on accepting my current situation, what do I really need to do to move forward? The second question, Based on the situation that is presented to me and considering the piece of my experience that I can control, what do I truly want? The third question, what is my plan? 
Don't worry if you can't answer this immediately, but start to think about it. The fourth question, do my current actions, conversations, or thoughts help me move forward with my plan or what I believe is best for this moment? The fifth question, do my thoughts and actions make my life better? The last question, how do my thoughts and actions serve me? When our thoughts don't serve us, our actions don't serve us. And again, it's not that we don't know these things. It's just that we're so busy reacting to life. We think that by punishing someone, our life will move forward. By blaming somebody or ourselves, our lives will move forward. The best thing to do is focus on what we can control. And to live a life that serves you is to move forward all the time. And when you ask yourself, what serves me? You are willing to learn your lessons. You're willing to see the role you played in a situation and the role that another person played in the situation. And maybe you'll get some clarity on your soon-to-be ex-husband, or maybe you get some clarity on new ideas or a certain project at work or school. All these reactions and emotions that don't serve us really shut us down. We want our lives to be better because all these things we are worrying about and stressing about drive us crazy. But when we're so focused on someone else or what we can't do, we create less in our lives. We limit ourselves. We are not living our best life. So to constantly open up to all that's possible is how we serve ourselves. And when we serve ourselves, we bring our best self forward. And we end up serving the community and serving the world because we're showing up with everything. We show up with more openness, more peace, and more authenticity. So spend some time thinking about these questions. Think about things that are happening in your life. Actually go through the questions when you feel like reacting to someone or something in your life. I think you'll be really surprised when you're about to say something or do something just to get someone back, just to upset somebody because they hurt you. But without asking these questions, you might end up in a more difficult place in your relationships. It might be hard to achieve what you want at work or school. You might end up more stressed and unhappy because your actions and thoughts didn't serve you. Sometimes our reactions have short-term rewards, but the long game for your life is finding joy, peace, and meaning by making choices and taking actions that serve you. Again, sometimes we need to stick up for ourselves. Sometimes we need to right the wrong or be a little mean or stern for a purpose that serves our goals. But always ask yourself the six questions so you have clarity. And sometimes you won't care. Sometimes you'll just want to say something because it feels good in the moment. It feels good to tell a person off, or it feels good to tell someone what you're thinking. But maybe a half hour later, or an hour later, or the next day, you might realize that by saying something, you made a relationship in your life more difficult. Maybe you didn't get out of the situation what you really needed or wanted. Sometimes we're so busy trying to hurt the other person that we're often not getting what we want. It is often better to be responsive to a situation to ask the six questions and figure out if what you're about to say or do will serve you. These are interesting questions and they will always lead you to a better place because it will always lead you back home to yourself, home to your true desires, home to what you really want in your life. If you like this podcast, please leave a review on iTunes. If you want to get in touch with me, you can email me at allison at allisoncarmen.com. If you're interested in purchasing my book, The Gift of Maybe, you can find it at all major bookstores and online retailers. Maybe our reactions in our lives are not serving us. Maybe there's a better way, a way that we could push ourselves forward, we could think about what we want, and we could pursue our best life under all circumstances and at all times.